just trying out a new queue. QTable.com is the newest version of the helpful Wii table that has been used on, by various billiards internet forums to display and discuss billiard shots. The latest adaptation is much more versatile and easier to use than the original. Tony Robles, a master instructor, called it a truly great learning tool for players at all levels. Using QTable, you can draw the layout in a few seconds and show it to others by sending an internet address generated by the program. Your friends can also view and edit or comment on your original layout and send another URL back to you. It could be just that simple, or there could be more. While there are some fun elements included, the focus is on being a serious tool that serious players can use for visualization, calculation, and analysis. At Billiards Crossing, we'll use QTable to communicate table layouts for drills and as a two-way vehicle for relaying questions and answers to and from members. Among the new features that make QTable so important are pre-made comment icons. These are in two toolboxes along the top and bottom of the table. They symbolize simple comments you might like to point out in a shot. It also provides you with the ability to enter your own text. This program includes four text fields for you to type in a message or comment of your own using the Add Text icon. Let's take a look at that new version. A remarkable tool to improve communication between pool players who want to discuss a layout or series of layouts with friends. You start by clicking on the main draw icon on the top of any cube table page. This opens the main table where you're going to be drawing your layouts. We're going to start off by clicking on the wrench down here which puts the toolbars on each of the long rails. And then we'll start by mo we'll move the two ball into location for a uh, corner pocket shot. Now we'll take the two ball, the three ball, I'm sorry, and set that uh, in this in an adjacent location for a straight in shot into the same pocket. The five ball goes over here in the other corner for a follow up shot. Now place the cue ball for a cut shot on the two ball and double click on the cue ball with your mouse. This will help you draw a line to the object ball. Double click again to freeze the ghost ball in position. Now go to the toolbar and press tangent line. You're drawing a line from the cue ball to the three ball, leaving the ghost ball adjacent to the three ball. Double click and save the page. Now create a second page and clear the two ball and three ball from the screen. Now double click on the cue ball, drag it over to the ghost ball location, double click to switch to line mode <coughs> and set it up for a shot on the five ball. You now have both pages in the URL down at the bottom of the, the uh, table. If you click on that, it will highlight it. You can save, you can highlight that, copy it, 
and paste it into an email to send to your friend. He'll be able to open it in his browser and complete the layout or he can open it and redraw it and add comments to send it back to you. There are many other options available and you'll really need to go through this the uh, tutorial for this program. Here are some tips for using Qtable. You'll find it helpful to bookmark the website http colon double slash qtable dot com slash how to dot html. You'll draw lines easiest and quickest using mouse clicks. Click and drag balls onto the table. Put them inside the rack or triangle. Use arrow keys on your keyboard to move balls at a much finer resolution. Ghost balls in Qtable illustrate a ball's travel path and also the points along that path. Use any imaging software to edit your Qtable image right away. You can switch the table from color to black and white mode. Black and white is excellent for printing. 